We're looking at the 2021 AP Chemistry FRQ question number four. This is a four point question. It says, as a student investigates a reaction in hand warmers represented above, the student mixes iron solid with a catalyst and sand in a small open container. The student measures the temperature of the mixture as the reaction proceeds, and the data is given below. So here we see we have iron plus oxygen, okay, it turns into iron oxide, and this negative delta H means that heat is given off. So here's the values. Okay, at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minutes, it goes from 22 up to 39.4. A, the mixture, iron, catalyst, and sand, has a total mass of 15 grams and a specific heat capacity of 0 0.72 joules per gram degree. Calculate the amount of heat absorbed by the mixture from 0 to 4 minutes. So from 0 to 4 minutes, so we're talking about 39.7 okay and 22.0 so the delta T we're talking about here is 7 and 17.7 uh, degrees Celsius so we can see that we have a specific heat capacity we have a mass we have a temperature so this looks like Q equals M C delta T this is one of the formulas that are on the equation sheet so the mass is 15 grams. The uh, heat capacity C is 0 0.72 joules per gram degree Celsius. And the change in temperature is 17.7 degrees Celsius. We do the calculation and I get 191.16 joules. Now this number here only has two significant figures. So I'm going to round my number off from 191. I'm going to round it off to 190 joules. And that is the correct answer. And if I do that, I just earned one point. Now part B says calculate the mass of iron in grams that reacted to generate the amount of heat calculated in part A. So I need to go back and use this information here, the fact that I had how much heat is given off during this reaction. So uh, notice that it's four moles of iron and uh, f given off, the negative means given off 1650 kilojoules per mole of reaction. Per mole of reaction means that's the reaction as written in the problem. So coming down here, I can see what happens is I have 190 grams from before, and I'm going to change my joules, 190 joules, joules to kilograms, kilograms to moles, okay, and then for every mole of reaction, I get four moles of iron, and one mole of iron is 55.85 grams of iron, and that comes out to be 0 0.02572. Okay, but again, I only have two significant figures, so I'm going to round that off to 0 0.0. Two, six. And if I do that, this is actually two points. And uh, one point is for getting to here. One point is for stopping here. You don't have to stop, but just the idea that if you have shown that you're calculating the moles of reaction, then um, that's worth one point. And if you get all the way to point zero two six, then you've earned the second point. Now, if you did that in two steps, Okay, that changes our numbers a little bit. So if I start by 190 joules, kilojoules per uh, joules per kilojoule, okay, then kilojoules per reaction. So I get 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 5, 1, 5 moles of reaction. And again, that's only good to two significant figures, so you could round that off to 0 0.00012. Then if you do the problem again with 0 0.0012, okay, that's how many moles of reaction. And for every mole of reaction, I get four moles of iron and change the moles into grams of iron. I get 0 0.026808, which would round off to 0 0.027 uh, grams of iron. So if you wrote this, okay, then you have earned one point for getting to here and earned one point for getting to here. Okay, and you'd have 0 0.027 and point, instead of 0 0.026. Both of those answers are going to get you full credit. 
but you don't have to stop here and show your work. It's just that that's worth one point. So that's a two point portion of the problem. Now the last part. In the second experiment, the student uses twice the mass of iron that was calculated in part B, but the same mass of sand as in the first experiment. Would the maximum temperature reached in the second experiment be greater than, less than, or equal to the maximum temperature of the first experiment? Justify your answer. Now before we're saying this is 0 to 6 grams of iron is what you had out of that whole 15 grams of your sample. So if you double that, okay, that's not going to change the mass very much at all. So we essentially say the mass is the same. But we are going to have more heat generated. Because we're using twice the number, twice the amount of iron, so we're going to get twice the amount of heat. But we're going to have the same mass of our sample, so therefore we're going to get a greater delta T and a greater maximum temperature. So the answer here is greater than. And why? Because we're going to have more heat generated with the same mass, basically. So therefore, we're going to get a greater maximum temperature. And that is worth one point. That is question number four.